26 pounds with the rigger. Here we go. Uh, wedge rower test number two. Hydroplaning rowing boat. Uh, today is a test to see at what speed it hydroplanes without me on it. Okay, test number two. Um, I'm just letting the wind blow the, uh, the boat out. Standing on the end of a dock, I'm going to pull it towards me and uh, see if it hydroplanes. Okay, uh, the drag is a lot lower than it used to be. It's it's possible that this thing might get on hydroplane. Yeah, the drag is a whole lot lower now that I modified the floats. Um, still not sure if I can get it to hydroplane. So the initial drag went down significantly when I added the, the wedges to the back. Um, so now it's double wedged with a step in the middle. And I, um, the, the buoyancy is a little bit low. Um, I'm going to need to either add buoyancy or add um, deflectors in the fronts of the two floats. Also, I don't have the rigger on. Uh, I'm, I do have this really long kayak paddle that I made uh, about two years ago for a different experiment and I'm going to see because this is long enough to clear the floats I think I might be able to use it it's just right now I don't really have a seat so I think I might just kneel in the middle Okay, I just realized I was going backwards. I was wondering why the, uh, the front float was going down instead of up. Okay, I know what's happening. Um, until I get detachment, there's a downward suction. Okay, yeah, the problem is the, uh, the problem is the shape of the transoms. Uh, they're, they're sucking the boat downward. Okay. So test number two was, uh, was a good test. Um, I drew some pictures here. Let me start with this. Um, so test number one was just a straight out wedge and it was really draggy. Uh, in fact, I could not, I don't think I even got over like one and a half miles an hour. Um, the flat transom was dragging a, a two col columns of water and that didn't work. 
So this is what I tried today. It's basically a, a double wedge with a step in the middle. Uh, the problem with this, okay, so the drag, the drag went way down, but uh, there's a, it didn't ventilate, so I could not get the flow to to ventilate this surface here, and the um, uh, a transom that goes upwards will lift water, and so that's what was happening you could tell the harder I paddled, uh, the floats actually started going uh, down instead of up. And so the issue here is it, this is underwater and uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to unventilate it or how to ventilate it. Um, so I have two options going forward. I can do something like this. I saw a seaplane that had a, uh, it had a shape like this, but then it had a little downward deflector on the back step. And so I could try that. This would, this would um, eliminate the downward suction. Uh, the problem is now, you know, like, can I ventilate the surface? Um, Cause it's all, it's completely underwater and uh, the option number two would be to go to something like this, which is basically like the skimming disc amas, but a cylindrical version. Um, uh, the the, the pro Okay, so the problem with this is getting the volume. I, I have to have enough volume in these floats to support me and the boat. So... Um, so with this, you're not dragging water. Uh, there's no ventilation issues. Um, and now it's just a matter of, um, the other th nice thing about this is if I, if I do um, operate the boat where there's waves, waves wouldn't really affect it anymore because uh, the, the wave would just go over the top and then it would come back down the, the backside and it would create more lift. So um, there is an advantage to this. Uh, now it's just a matter of, do I do two? Do I do three? Do I do four? Um, if I, the more that I add, the less wide they have to be. Uh, and the less wide they are, the, the, the easier it is to paddle. So um, I have to decide, do I want to have a rowboat? and face backwards and not see where I'm going and have 18 foot wide oars? Uh, or do I make it so that it's, uh, so that I can paddle it with a kayak paddle? There has to be a space in the middle for me to get my, my paddles in there. Uh, and then the other option is a propeller drive, uh, which I don't have uh, at the moment. And I I've looked at the ones that you could buy. They're about 600 bucks and they look like really like cheap um so uh i don't know maybe there's like a high-end version that i could buy i don't i really don't know but anyway so those are my two choices i either um modify the floats to have a, a little bit of a downward deflection in the back just like that seaplane um or i go to something like that a shout out to to uh one of my followers, um, he, he, he pointed out that a flat transom will drag water, a rising uh, transom will lift water, and if you flip it the other way, it'll shed water. Uh, and so, um, so I haven't tried this yet. This is the one where it's the transom leans forward and it sheds water. And so uh, this actually might be the, the better of the two options moving forward.